Knowing what to pack for an international move can present quite the challenge. In this video, we look at things that will help you decide what to take when making such a move. I am Myla Dell, and welcome to Expert Living, where we look at some of the things you may and may not have considered about your new life venture. Now, things that will help you decide what to take when making an international move. Decide whether you will be buying new stuff or shipping your old stuff. Your first and main concern is going to be international shipping costs versus sentimental value or usability of your property overseas. In addition, the cost of buying new products in your country is going to be a factor. In some cases, it would be futile to ship a 10-year-old fridge when the cost of buying a new fridge would probably be cheaper than the cost of shipping your old one. Hmm. But then again, it may well be worthwhile shipping that old fridge if you are moving to Argentina where the cost of white products are very expensive. If you have decided that shipping some or all your stuff is what you want to do, then please Research the import regulations, import taxes, or visa regulations within the country you are moving to. It may well be that you only have a certain window to ship your goods overseas and import them tax-free. Also, some countries have restrictions on importing items such as plants, animals, and some kinds of electronics. Bear in mind also that new goods possibly may make it easier to adjust and they may also blend in easier into your new life. Some items however can never be replaced and you will want to take them with you. Items such as family heirlooms, personal favorites and items associated with a special person or a special moment in your life will definitely need to be put on the shipping list. If you decide not to ship your goods overseas, then clearing your house via a yard sale or an online auction may prove or may provide a few extra dollars to help you be on your merry way. If you are planning to study abroad, then visit the Study Abroad portal page on Facebook. They are the leading go-to place for studying abroad webinars, also known as online open days. These webinars include hundreds of universities all around the world and guess what? You can join these online open days for free and ask your questions to the universities. They also provide tips and tricks to ensure you make the right study abroad decision. So please go and check them out today. What will you need to make your new place feel like home? Oftentimes, this will include framed photos, sentimental gifts, the greeting cards stacked on your desk, your Google Home smart speaker, and a unique writing desk. What are some of the current items you have with you now that you cannot imagine being without? Look around and try to decide which things in your home will make you feel relaxed and at ease. Moving overseas can be difficult. It will take a while for you to feel like you are at home. So, it's a good idea to try to create a true comfortable and familiar sense of belonging in your new space. Another factor in deciding what should be moved and what should stay is the climate. Living in tropical climates may not be good for antiques and some types of artwork. Also, there are furnishings that can be damaged by dry climates. Investigate what kind of climate you are moving to and see what belongings you plan to take that will not last in this kind of condition. Particular to climates is the clothing items you will take. It makes no sense to pack all your winter gear to move to a country where on a regular day you will need a short and a tank top. One bonus item to think about is whether your current electronics will work in your new country. There are several socket options used around the world and it would hurt to pack and ship all your gadgets and appliances 
only to find you may have to go buy new ones anyway. In the end, these are only a few elements in helping you decide what to take when moving to a new country. I encourage you to do your research and see what else you can come up with. And if you find anything worth sharing, drop it in a comment below. I am Milo Dev and this was Expert Living. Adios.